my name is Jose Smithy, as you may know, yeah, say. Today I will be speaking on the message which I titled Repentance. Repentance is the art of feeling ashamed for any wrongdoing. It is the realization that what we have done is bad and we are ready to apologize and ask for mercy. What there are many people now that have seen against God, that have lied, that have still that have done all sorts all sort of bad things. Now they are thinking that they are not worthy to be in the presence of the Lord. But child of God, I want you to know that when you ask God for mercy, He will always count you as a, as a child. You can always appear in the child if you repent. Repentance also means change. When someone sees it everywhere, then one day he comes to think of it and say, ah, what I'm doing is not is is not good. I want to change. That's what repentance is. So, child of God, I want you to know that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary because He wants us to repent. He cleans us so that any time we sin against God, we can ask God for mercy, and we also can repent. Let us see people in the Bible who sin against God. Number one person who sinned against God was David. David was a man who served the Lord faithfully. David was the second king of Israel. He was a mighty warrior. He served the Lord faithfully with all his heart. God removed Saul from the king and put David there. God gave David many things and blessed him. One day, the Israelite army was fighting against the, the Moabites. David did not go to the war, to fight the war. As he was walking on top of his house, he saw a beautiful woman next door taking her bath. Her name was Bathsheba, one of his army called Uriah, Uriah's wife. David called some of his servants and asked who the woman was. And they replied, she is the wife of Uriah, the Hittites. David called Bathsheba and slept with her. And she became pregnant. David, this is one of the things that David did. He has many wives. He has many families. He did not call one. Another woman he saw, another a husband, a some, someone's wife, he called from another place and slept with the woman. And gave her and gave her she was and she was pregnant. Now look at the other thing that David did. David came to Uriah, called Uriah from the battlefield, and asked him to go to his wife and sleep with her, enjoy at home. Uriah now said, No, that does not make sense. How can his own mate be fighting in war? Why he himself will be at home with his wife, resting with his wife. So at the end, David killed Uriah. He said he slept with Uriah's wife, then he, he killed him. Not only that he killed him, he took his wife away from him. And David did not realize that what he did was a sin. He thought what he did was right. So God saw that David do, does not want to repent. He does not want to ask for mercy. He now called, he now used a prophet, prophet Nathan. To come to David and tell David a story. Now our text will be taken from the book of Second Samuel 12, verse 1 to 13. And the Lord sent Nathan unto David, and he came unto him and said unto him, There were two men in one city, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man has exceeded many flocks and herbs. But the poor man has nothing. One save little lamp, which he has brought and raised up, nourished up, and it grew up together with him and with his children. He did it from his own milk and drank from his own cup, and he lay in his bosom, and was unto him as a daughter. And then came a traveller unto the rich man, and he spake to skin of his own flock and of his own herb to dress for the wayfaring man that was come unto him. But took the poor man's lamb and dressed it for the man 
that has come to him. And David's anger was greatly kinded against the man and said unto Nanta, As the Lord liveth, the man that has done this thing shall surely die, verse 6, and he shall restore the lamp fourfold, four, fourfold because he did this thing and because he had no pity. Verse 7. And Nata said unto David, Thou hast the man. Thus said the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee over king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hands of Saul. And I gave thee thy master house and thy wives unto thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if thou have been too little, I will moreover have given unto thee such and such things. Therefore, has thou despised the commandment of the Lord to do the evil in his sight? Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittites with the sword, and thou hast taken his wife to be thy wife. And thou hast slain him with the sword of the children of An Ammon. Now therefore, the sword shall never depart from thy house, because thou hast despised me, and thou hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittites to be thy wife. Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will rise up evil against the acts of thy own house, and I will take thy wife before thy eyes, and give them unto thy neighbor, and he will lie with thy wife in the sight of the son. And thou dearest thee secretly, but I will do these things before all Israel, and before the son. And David said unto Nata, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nata said unto David, The Lord has put away thy sin. That shall not die. What is he saying? Nata came to David and came to explain a story of a rich man and a poor man. The rich man has many things. He has many sheep, goats, and cattle. But the poor man only had one thing that he treated like his daughter. One day, travelers were coming. Came to visit the rich man. The rich man did not want to touch any of his cattle. He went ahead and go and kill the poor man's own. As he killed the poor man's own, he dressed it, which is he, he cooked it for the traveler so that the tra traveler may eat it. And David was angry and said that that man must be slain. And Nathan said, It was you. If that rich man is you, David, why did you do this kind of thing? You took Uriah's wife and also you. You killed Raya. Why did you do this type of evil in the sight of the Lord? David now said, Ah, I have sinned against the Lord. And I and I asked God for mercy. Now God now used Prophet Nathan to call David back to repentance. God can use anyone to call you back to repentance, no matter what or how. You can be saying, I am not worthy to be in the presence of the Lord because of our sin. Then why did Jesus came to die for your own sin? He came to die for you and I to cleanse us from every evil. And also, he, he came for you and I so that he will clean all our, all our body from all this thing we are doing. If not for God, where will, where will I be by now? Where will you be by now? The sin that we have done, the, if not for God, God would have wiped all of us away. I pray that God will have mercy on you this night for all the sins you have done in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray Jesus' blood will cover you and guide you in the mighty name of Jesus. Next time, it will also be in center. And this time, we will be talking on Zacchaeus, the chief dance connector. God bless you, Jesus. Amen.